So an NFT relies on the blockchain technology, but on a blockchain, you have what people call a cryptocurrency. It's the same principle as if I have a dollar bill and you have a dollar bill and we exchange the dollar bills, then we both still have one dollar. They are fungible. In other words, I can mix all the one dollar bills around the world. There's still one dollar bills, right? And you still have one dollar. But an NFT is a non-fungible token. And a non-fungible token is the fact that you they're completely unique. So they're still recorded on the blockchain. And they're like your dollar, but it's like if you drew a beautiful heart on that dollar, it makes it unique. So now your dollars aren't interchangeable. And so now what we're seeing in this tiny little birth of the NFT environment is utilitarian values to NFTs. And that means, for example, that people with NFTs can enter certain events or event registration can only be done with an NFT. NFTs allow you access to communities. NFTs can give you royalties and it's being explored in things like the music industry quite a bit. And these are some of the topics we'll be addressing in the next sessions. Um, fad or not? Should I invest now or not? Is the discovery and the pain worth going through today or should I wait till this market becomes a little bit more mature? What are some of the use cases where people have gotten burned? And should you have bought that board eight for two or three hundred thousand dollars? And what will it look in the future? These are some of the topics that we'll address. Investability, usability, interoperability. What's next for NFTs and crypto? Stay tuned to the next episodes.